What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a whip pan transition. Now, it doesn't matter what editor you're using, you can even do this in Windows Movie Maker, all you need is something that can record video. So you can see on screen right now, I show you myself recording it. The example I showed you was recorded on my phone. So if you don't have a camera, no worries, just use your phone and you can see it's super, super simple to do this. All it will require is a simple editor that allows you to trim videos and speed up videos. I also want to mention that I'm uploading two videos today. So this is going to be the first one and the second video will be out in eight hours from now, which will be 4 a.m. GMT time zone and all the other time zones will be right here. So yes, I do have a new upload schedule, but I won't be talking about it in this video. I'll be talking about it on Sunday. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16, and I have the two clips you have just watched me record. And as you can see, this is clip number one. And then this is clip number two. Now the reason it's lagging is simply because I recorded in 4K accidentally. So um, yeah, I'll render it at the end so you can see how it looks. So the first thing you want to do when you have your clips is me personally, I like to start the video when I'm already moving. For example, right here, mo movement has already started. I don't want it to start still and then suddenly move off. So right here is there's movement and I'm going to trim down the start of this video and I'm going to bring this here. Now, this is when we're going to be using markers and to add markers, you just press M on your keyboard. And all we're going to be doing is choosing a spot where you basically want to want the transition to happen. So for example, right here, I'm completely out of focus of what I wanted to show, which was the laptop screen. So I'm going to press M on my keyboard and I'm just going to leave that there for now. What I'm then going to do is right click, select insert, remove envelope and select velocity. Now, all we're going to do is double click right here and we're going to lay down this uh, square. Now, all we're then going to do is come across in our timeline just a little bit, say to here, and double click here. This one, we're going to bring all the way up, like here. Now, what we can do is press S on our keyboard and delete the remaining we have here, just like that. And we're also going to right click this line and select Fast Fade. Now we're going to be working with the second clip and we're basically going to be doing the opposite. So we want it to start off quickly and then come in nice and smooth. So to do that, once again, find the starting point of your video. I think I went back and forth. There you go, as you can see. So here's my starting point. I'm going to trim the start and push this back. Now what we're going to do is right click the video, select insert, remove envelopes and select velocity. So the first thing you're going to do is bring the velocity all the way up. So don't worry about putting any dots just yet. Now you can come across on your timeline to the point where you want the video to go back to normal speed or when you want the transition to end. Now in this case, my uh, main focus is of course this clock. So right here is when I want it to slow down. Again, I'm going to use the markers by pressing M on my keyboard just so I don't lose that spot. Then I'm going to double click on the velocity. So you can see I've laid down this square. Then I'm going to right click that square and you want to be careful here. Don't set to zero velocity because that's just going to create a freeze frame. You want to set it to set to normal velocity. Then you also want to right click this line and select fast fade. And then you should get a line that looks like this. So it comes up and over and down like a hill. Pretty simple. And believe it or not, that is now completed. Now notice we haven't actually got to where we picked our point. So all you need to do is left click and drag the velocity out until you get to that point. And you can see mine would be right here. So I'm going to right click and select set to normal. So now I'm going to try and play it through for you. Hopefully it doesn't lag. I will be RAM previewing it. Even if it does lag, you'll see the final result at the beginning and the end of the video. So it didn't RAM preview all the way, but I'll play through what it got, which is the main section here. So you can see that is how it would look. Just like that. Super simple and super, super smooth. Like I mentioned, the rendered version is the one that you saw at the start of the video and also what I'm about to play for you now. <laughs> 